Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Daniel Schiffer and use code Daniel Schiffer to get 10% off your first purchase. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're addressing a much requested topic and that is freelancing and making money as a creative. So what I've done is I've broken down this topic into three separate categories or strategies, techniques, whatever you wanna call it, that I think are the three most important rules when it comes to freelancing. I guess we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with understanding your business. Now, before you do anything, before you go out and make videos and market yourself and try to get clients, before you do any of that stuff, you wanna understand your business and ask yourself three questions. Who are you, what do you do, and what don't you do? So let's use myself as an example and start with the first question, which is who am I? Well, my name is Daniel Schiffer, as you already know, and if we're pointing out the obvious, I make videos. Another thing I'll add is that I have a university education in marketing management, which to me is a big asset or a strength when it comes to the business side of my business. This brings us to our next question, which is what do I do? And as I mentioned, I make videos, but more specifically, I produce short form content that's easy to consume, that lives on social media for various companies to promote their products or services, but also generate traffic to their website and to their social media. So to take all of that and just simplify it down into the most basic words, I pretty much just make videos that increase brand awareness and promote products. Now, moving on to our third question, which is actually more important than a lot of people think and this is what don't you do. Now, I myself am not a professional photographer. I do not shoot weddings and I also do not shoot music videos. Now, before you freak out, that's not to say that you guys shouldn't do these types of things. These are all very lucrative businesses that a lot of people have great success in. I'm personally just not very good at photography. Quite frankly, I can't stand shooting events. My value and what I add just really isn't in that area. And it's the same idea with music videos. It's really just something I never got into. I feel like my value and my skills are better spent in other areas. So why do we ask ourselves these questions and what's the big deal? Why is it so important to understand what you do and what you don't do? And really what it comes down to is how all these things play into the longevity and sustainability of your freelance business. You know, looking back to the very beginning of my freelance business and when I started getting paid to make videos, had I carried forward all those years just making wedding videos every weekend, I would have burnt out very quickly. If you're doing something you don't enjoy or you're doing something where you're not maximizing your value, you're not maximizing your skill and you're not maximizing your time, you're going to burn out and it's not going to be sustainable. So at the very least, you know, if you're just starting out and you're doing all sorts of different types of work, that's okay. You're trying to make some money, save up, upgrade your gear. That's all well and good. But just recognize from the start that maybe that's not what you want to pursue and continue doing going forward. Now, another reason that step of understanding your own business is so important is because it ties into our next step, which is probably the most important part, and that is building building a portfolio. In the freelance and creative world, your portfolio is basically like a resume that tells people who you are and what you do. But more importantly, it shows off your diversity, your skill, and it gives you the ability to attract the clients you actually want. So taking a look at my own website, this is filmer.ca, that's filmer without the E. And if we enter the website, you'll see on the homepage, I've got a little description about myself and what I do. And if we scroll down, you'll notice that there's this little carousel that displays my recent YouTube tutorials. But more importantly, if we go up to the top and go to the My Work tab, this is where you'll see my real portfolio with actual work I've done for past clients. And as you can see, I've got a variety of videos. I have one here for a local business. I have some product stuff, some restaurant stuff. I've even got a hockey camp video in here. So that's what I mean when I talk about diversity. I've got a variety of different videos so that I can attract a variety of different types of companies. Now, at the start of the video, I did mention that this video is sponsored by Squarespace, which is super convenient and I'm super stoked about it because Squarespace is actually what I've been using to build my websites long before they ever reached out to me. I built my very first website on Squarespace two years ago and I haven't looked back. I've been using them ever since. And one of the things I love about Squarespace is that they have tons of templates to choose from. So if you're a filmmaker, or a photographer, a musician, a designer, if you have a restaurant, any sort of company, you can build that website with Squarespace because they have so many options and layouts. And above anything else, it's super easy to use and they make it so simple to customize your website. So even looking at my portfolio right now, I'm not really feeling the slideshow thing I've got going on. So I'm just gonna go in and change it to a gallery layout and I think that looks a lot better. Like I said, it's just so easy to use and Squarespace is offering all of my viewers 10% off their first purchase. All you have to do is go to Squarespace 
Bitcoinbase.com slash Daniel Schiffer and start your free trial today. So now moving on to our third aspect or strategy in today's video. And guys, this one was an absolute game changer for me. This probably made the biggest impact on my entire video career because this is what actually enabled me to make a little bit more money and start reinvesting back into my business. And this is going to be especially helpful for those of you who are struggling to find clients. You're struggling to get work and that is to work for people who already have clients. So I'm gonna start off by using the example of real estate. Hello, Mr. Green, my name is Daniel Schiffer. I would like to offer you a free video tour for your listing at Avenue. The photos are great, but video tours really bring a home to life. Videos are especially important for potential buyers who may not be able to pay a visit to the home in person, but still want to experience an open house perspective of the property. Let me know your thoughts and if you are interested in my offer. If you have a different listing that you would prefer to have a video shot at, I'm open to your suggestions as well. Regards, Daniel Schiffer, blah, blah, blah. That was one of the probably 30 emails I sent out to a whole bunch of realtors a few years ago when I first started my video business. That specific long-winded email to that realtor was the only one that got a response. I actually ended up filming two listings for this realtor. He was a really nice guy. I added these videos to my portfolio and I felt like I was on my way. But I learned very quickly that it is extremely hard to approach real estate videos in this way because as it turns out, most realtors in most big cities already have companies that do photos, brochures, floor plans, virtual tours, and all kinds of other services. And of course, I'm left there wondering how am I supposed to compete with these companies that do all this stuff when all I offer is a video. Now, one thing you could do is try to take on these companies and compete with them by starting your own business that offers the same thing. Now, to me, that seemed very time consuming and I didn't have the resources or the skill to pull off some of those other services. So I thought, why not, instead of competing with them, just join them. So I went on to Google and looked up some of these real estate media companies that these realtors had been using, and turns out there's a lot of them. I pretty much just sent out an email to a handful of them and let them know that I'm a videographer looking for work, and if they need an extra person to do some videos, I was available. And fortunately for me, some of these companies took a look at my email and saw my videos, and they were keen on having me on board and shooting videos for their clients. Now, the arrangement was very simple. I wasn't a hired employee. I wasn't being paid a salary. I simply just got a contract for each individual listing to go and make the video and send it to this company. I never had to deal with any clients. I didn't have to pursue any realtors. I simply just showed up to the listings they gave me, shot the videos and left. So now instead of going around cold calling and sending emails to all these realtors and chasing them, trying to get jobs to do one listing every month or every couple weeks, now I was doing like four or five listings a week and all I had to do was show up film the video, edit, and send it off to them, and that was it. Now keep in mind, you're not gonna make as much money per video as you would have had you been going about pursuing these realtors on your own, but the difference is now you have much more volume and you're doing way more consistent work. It puts more money in your pocket, but most importantly, it saves you so much time that you would have been sending trying to get these clients. Instead, they just simply book it for you and you show up, that is it. When I realized the success of this formula of going to people who already had clients and working for them, I did the same thing for branding and marketing content. Once again, I went onto Google and looked up social media marketing agencies around Toronto, and as it turned out, there are a lot of them. Now, a lot like the real estate media companies, these social media marketing agencies already have a database of clients that they work with, managing their Instagrams, their Facebooks, creating photos, web design, all sorts of things for them. So again, I reached out to them, told them that I was available for videos if they needed that. Sure enough, I got connected with a social media marketing agency who was just feeding me clients like nobody's business. I was now getting the opportunity to shoot and edit all sorts of different product videos and social media clips for a wide variety of different clients. And this was great experience for me. You know, I look back to all the time I spent networking and handing out business cards, cold calling, cold emailing companies, walking into stores, and all of that stuff is good to do, but it's really tough when you're not making any money. At least this way, when you're working for companies who already have clients, you can reinvest some money back into your business, put some money in your pocket. Now your time is better spent actually getting experience, shooting videos and doing work, and you can still do your own business on the side, acquiring your own clients and adding to your portfolio. It's a process and it takes a lot of time, but at least doing it this way will make it a lot easier on you financially. I think that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications if you're interested in more videos like this because I do have a few planned. And as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful evening.